All right, Storm Chasers, we need to get right into this story real, real quick. All right, you guys will be, will, was uh, sending me this Diddy update, and I'm like, damn, before I get to the gym, let me go ahead and just do the story and knock it out. So Diddy is a lit, well, we know he's being sued, but he's been sued for allegedly, all right, assaulting a man. <laughs> allegedly. Now, who, who would have thunk it? We all knew this was coming. We all saw how uh 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 not Wale, uh Meek Mill was 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 hunched over in the pool. We all saw how they didn't have these grown men running. We didn't all heard the stories. All right, let's get into it. I know that's a hell of a title. All right. Now neighborhood talk said Diddy is hit with actual assault lawsuit uh from a former male employee. He says Diddy would touch his genitals and his anus. Uh, uh, show in a legend video of Stevie J having sex with a man and was allegedly assaulted by young Miami's cousin. It's a whole, whole lot, a whole lot. Of, all right. So Rodney Jones is a former producer and videographer for Diddy and is alleging that. Wait, did I get an email? Uh, okay. It is alleging that Mr. Combs touched him on multiple occasions. Diddy would walk around naked, grab Jones's genitals fondle his anus and call it horseplay how do you fondle an anus how do you fondle an anus i'm gonna need details on the anal play was he just sticking it because he didn't say fondle his buttocks see fondling the buttocks would be just you know grabbing the butt just it would just be just playing with the butt. you know what i mean like like this is the that's playing with the butt. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? But fondling the anus is getting all in the butthole. Not even the gooch. The anus. Diddy was playing in the anus. Was he taking his penis and fondling it? Was he taking the fingers, spitting on them, and trying to loosen up that hole? He was trying to prepare you to put to put in full shaft, Rodney. Rodney, you was about to get that rod. You was about to get that rod up your ass. All right. Now it says, "Uh, uh, do you walk around naked?" All right, we we've already heard. Uh, uh, multiple stories of him doing that with Ja Rule and the like. We've heard that even from Gene Deal, okay? So he walk around naked, grab his genitals and call it horseplay. Horseplay? Not you, not you playing in this man's anus and calling it horseplay? What horse? Now my auntie used to say she was going to see a man about a horse. And it looked like Rodney, you was getting groomed to uh to to take that, take that, like that, like that. All right, Jones claimed he received multiple advances from others at Diddy's request. Here's my thing: the first time he tried to play in your anus, why didn't you leave? See, I better have the same smoke for this man that y'all had for for Cassie, because if grown ass men was scared of Diddy, what in the hell was little old Cassie supposed to do? According to TMZ, Jones says they never had sex, but feels that that's where things were going based on Diddy's actions. Hell yeah, he was just he was just priming that butthole, you know, playing with the butt, trying to get you used to relaxing, you know, trying to get you used to having one finger, two finger, three finger, four. You know, he ain't got time for you to be tearing and crying. He ain't got time for you to not to be clenching, not knowing to relax and relax. You know, he get a little frustrated and then he just take that. And he said he ain't want no blood on his white copy. So he said, I'm just going to play with that booty cat and, you know, get it open. We already know what this is about. He was warming you up. You know, you put your keys in a car, you let it warm up before you take it on a cold winter day. We already know. All right. The list of allegations is quite lengthy. It includes being sexual. Uh, oh, no, no, no. According to TMZ, Jones says they never had said blah, blah, blah. All right. So Diddy also forced him, forced him 
a grown man forced him to watch an alleged video of Stevie J, Mr. Beefcake himself, the same one that was in that video with Eve uh, putting that big ass dildo all up in Eve's cooch, all up in her, in her coochie. So see, just like he was priming Eve to take it, that's how he was doing. That's how Diddy was doing you right. And he was pri pri he was priming you and grooming you and getting you ready to take it up that ass. All right. But even if it hurts, because, you know, they say the first hundred times you do anal, it hurts. He at least would have had a nice cold pool for you to cool off that hot ass in, you know, just like Meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like I like you scriffling and scraffling like that. I like you. I like you. I like you scrambling like that. Did he like him scrambling? Did he like him screaming? And he just turned up the music so nobody can hear it until he finishes. Probably don't even take the time to go get a hot towel and wipe you up. Just leave you on the floor full of blood and cum. Now, can y'all and do y'all believe that Stevie J was sleeping with men's? And do y'all believe that Stevie J was running up in a man's ass? I'm just asking. Do y'all believe that Stevie J was putting that beefcake in a man's ass? You know, there was allegedly a video of Stevie J doing a white boy back in the day and it was alleged 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 you know what i'm saying but 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 jocelyn did say that stevie j liked in him some uh 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 gay prawn and when steve and when jocelyn took that the lie detector test she wasn't lying so we already know stevie j likes boy on boy prom but you know what it is i don't even think stevie j is gay i think stevie j is one of those people that's so freaky see you have you have heterosexual bisexual homosexual and then you just got sexual sexual you got some people especially if they're narcissistic or they're just very they just have a lot of testosterone they are so freaky they will screw anything the marlon brando's of it all the richard priors of it all do you understand what i'm saying they don't care what it is they just want to get off yeah, see, yeah, Johnson always called him gay because she knew he was gay. Well, bisexual, all right, allegedly, all right. Now, the list of allegations is quite lengthy. It includes being sexually assaulted by a cousin of young Miami's. Miami, my Carisha, Carisha. Not you over there trying to rebrand yourself. Meanwhile, your cousin was out here allegedly graping people. Remember when you told uh look kawasaki out there in vegas what's her name gina hall gina hall gina hall don't you remember uh carisha when you told G uh, uh, gina that you would make her get on her knees and eat your coochie don't you remember when you told that girl that you would basically force her to perform oral sex on you and now your cousin was out here allegedly taking blue cheek hair too all you niggas is the, the damn same all of y'all is the damn saying. All of y'all going down. And it don't matter how much you try to rebrand yourself, how much you try to get away from Diddy now. But believe me, the piss stains ain't never coming out your pores. And the stain of Diddy's name ain't never coming off your legacy, bitch. Now, uh, moving forward, okay, it includes being sexually assaulted by cousin y'all Miami's. Prostitutes, drugs, possible grape, and touching, groping, and fondling for Cuba Gooden Jr. on Diddy's yacht. Cuba! Not Cuba out here touching and groping and fondling, even though Cuba had already been convicted of, of touching and groping and fondling white women in clubs because he can't keep his damn hands to himself because every time he get drunk, he want to take off his shirt and his clothes because he's a low-down, nasty, dirty freak that needs to go, we, we did it. They are one and the same. Everybody's being exposed. But y'all always want to call certain people crazy. Yeah, okay. He even adds that an underage girl, ooh, were brought to Diddy's home and received alcohol. The documents apparently go on to say that Jones witness also witnessed a shooting that happened in the studio stemming from a heated argument between Diddy and his son, Justin Combs. Now here, now here comes Justin. Here come, here come Diddy and, and his damn stepson, Justin Combs. He alleges that the shooting left someone named G heavily bleeding from the stomach in which Diddy told him to lie to officers and say that he was shot in a drive-by. Oh, now I got some tea on that alleged shooting. I just got some tea. So what I heard about that alleged shooting of somebody named G, and believe me, we're going to figure out who G is. It's going to come out. <laughs> Diddy couldn't hide in that closet, and G, you ain't going to be able to neither. All right? 
that shooting absolutely did happen. It actually happened during the recording of the Red, the Love album. All right. Hold up. Diddy Love album. All right. All right. All right. All right. This I, I know Justin. This is somebody looked like his old uh, his old friend. That's why I say that he looked like Wolf. Y'all know that's Wolf's son. Anyway, so this is the love album right here. All right. When they was recording this album, this is when the shooting went down between Diddy and Justin. OK, and it was it was a stupid ass argument and it happened. Now, let's see if we can find the studio that it happened in. I got told that that's an absolute real. That's real. So we are confirming that we're still saying allegedly, but it's a confirmation. All right. So where was Diddy's love album? produce let's see let's see let's see huh where was it produced i don't know if y'all can find it but that's where the shooting happened okay hold on let me see if i can i can't find that let me see if i can find let me see if i can find what it was actually let's see what they said Okay, so Diddy and Justin was actually arguing over the way that one of Justin's friends was talking to him. So I guess one of Justin's friends was acting pretty reckless. They said that the uh, they said the dude was talking reckless, and then Diddy and Justin got into it, and then somehow the the dude named G, who was Justin's friend, was shot in the studio bathroom. All right, now wherever uh, whatever the name of the studio is, I do not know. But the love album was made at this studio and it's in Hollywood. Um, so yeah. So G, whoever you are, you actually got shot while your ass was in the bathroom. Was he trying to shoot his alleged son? That's the question. I don't know. I don't know if Justin took out a gun. I don't know if Diddy took out a gun, but it was a whole lot of whole lot of and y'all gotta understand the way Diddy is, he don't like no talk back, he don't really like no disrespect. So I could see things getting crazy pretty quick. I could see Diddy pulling this pistol and Justin saying, No, Diddy, no, Diddy, no, 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 please. Oh my god. And then Diddy saying, Fuck that little nigga. Get on my da, 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 da. and then boom, G then got hit all up in the stomach, all up in the bathroom, blood splatter all on the walls. And then he told them niggas in the studio, Y'all better say it was a motherfucking drive by, or I'm gonna kill you and beat your ass too and rape your ass too, bitch. Allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> was it Justin outed a few years ago? Baby, they all bisexual. This is the industry, 90% of everybody in the industry is bisexual, pansexual, and, and even more than the boys in the industry, they really love the tea girls. They love the girls. That's just really what it is. I don't know uh, how else to tell y'all that. A lot of y'all favorite actors, you know, that y'all just think it's so fine, it's so masculine, it's so brutal for them. You would do whatever for them. You would get on your knees for when you met them, baby. They, they've been on their knees and and they still don't consider it gay necessarily especially if they just doing it to secure a deal or a movie role or whatever allegedly all right all right all right now now diddy's attorney has responded okay and diddy's attorney sean holly uh tells cmz little rod is nothing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The dude's name is Lil Rod. Wait, let's put what? Rodney Jones Lil Rod. Let's see who this is. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. As a musician, I've been in the music business for 20 years. And for the last seven years, I've been producing. This little ride um, right here? First pipe right here. With my brother, my partner, Charles Jenkins. Uh, this little ride right here? Back. And when I tell you that I received the email. Oh, my God. 
You let Diddy play in your uh, play with your aunt. I need more. D- see, I need I need an interview. I need an interview because the first time, first off, how did he get to your anus? I'm trying to see how did he how did he get to your anus? All right, because see the pants are on. Do you understand? So that means the pants would have had to come down. Now I'm not gonna pull my down because I ain't got no drawers on. But they didn't say playing with the buttocks. He said fondling the anus. So how did, 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 did was a tongue in the anus? Was a finger in the anus? Was a penis all around the butthole? We need total and complete details. And I know a lot of y'all may find this disgusting, but we need to know because when I go, if one when, when I go anywhere, I got pants on, I got shorts on, I got clothes, I got clothes on. You can't just get to my ass. You can't get to my ass. You cannot just get in my ass. It doesn't work like that. It just doesn't work like that. How did he make it past the cheeks? Did you not clinch? I'm trying to figure it out. Stone ain't got no panties on. Ain't got no panties on. Stone ain't got no panties on on the dance floor. Stone ain't got no panties on. Ain't got no panties on. Ain't got no panties on on the dance floor. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, see, I couldn't. <laughs> Y'all know I could be around these niggas. <laughs> you see all that ass I got? I could. This is why I can't be in the industry. I can't do that. They know. They already know I like the party too. It, I can't be around them like that. I just. I don't see how y'all do it. Then you went back. How many times did it take you to play in your ass before you said this is enough? Oh my God. <laughs> this ain't a laughing matter, but you know, we got to entertain. All right. Uh, Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million. Why? $30 million. Uh, shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events or pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. So he lied on everybody. He lied on Diddy. He lied on Cuba. He lied on Stevie J. And he lied on Young Miami Cousin. He lied on everybody. Somebody said, so you have a nice ass. Yes, I do. I know that. I do. I mean, it's, it's hereditary. It's hereditary. Um, let me go back. Uh, she adds, we have overwhelming indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our call. That don't even sound like a real person. Uh, we will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. So they said they're going to fight it. They said they're going to fight it like that anus was fighting that finger or that tongue or that penis going in it. But listen, you can't just get up in no ass. I mean, it really don't work like this. So we need details. But listen, I just I just need to know the timeline. I need more because I just don't understand. After you go after the first day you show up for work and, and your anus didn't been played with, I'm trying to figure out why you ever went back. It wasn't going to change once he didn't played in your ass and he saw that he could get away with that shit and you didn't knock his block off. <sighs> What's wrong with you niggas? But people out here talking about what Cassie was supposed to do. She was supposed to fight. She was supposed to what what the other baby mama was supposed to do. You grown ass niggas was scared of this nigga. You grown ass men's was bent over getting played in. But little old Cassie was supposed to fight back. Every time Cassie tried to get away, this nigga showed up. You, she was supposed to be scared of her life. When y'all was overpowered and dominated by this man, everybody turned into a power bottom when Diddy came into the room until Diddy wanted to switch because he's a switch hitter his damn self. Don't get it twisted. He ain't always no power top of his, his damn self. He's a switch hitter too. So I'm just trying to figure it out. Shit, at this point, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for YK Osiris to tell his story because we still got to know why he was over there crying and then trying to kill his fucking self. 
And you know, I met YK Osiris and he got a he got depressive energy over him. You know how you can look at somebody and they just look sad? They just but allegedly, but if I had gave up ass and didn't get enough for it, I'd be sad as fuck too. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna take a few comments and then get out of here because I gotta uh I gotta go to the gym. All right, so a few comments real quick. And then I gotta give. It gots to give. We ain't forget how Diddy was all over French Montana's bro. Whoa. No, no, nobody believed Wendy Williams until now. She was the first to expose back in the day. Um, let's see. Now, you know, we were talking to Armand earlier. Wasn't that fool saying I was unhinged? <laughs> he said, I feel like I can never get away with them titles. It's kind of true. Literally, this title was Diddy Sue for Porking Man's Anus. Stevie J blew out a bussy. Just, jeez, boy, I don't play with them titles, do I? We definitely need an interview with Lil Rod. Hashtag, where's Diddy? Oh, baby, everybody being taken down. Let's see. Wendy Williams is doing the Lord's work, basically. <laughs> uh jay-z is next yes he is i want to uh come with you to the gym oh lord <laughs> so don't be distracting folks at the gym with no drug listen if you are looking at me that is your business i have shorts on i just don't feel like wearing drawers like it is what it is. I don't I don't like wearing draws. Um okay, people. Well, listen, I'm out of here. I will see y'all later. Well, literally, I'll be back later tonight uh, when I get back from the gym. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care, and I will catch you all. Sure. Well, yeah. See y'all in a few hours. I'll be back in a few hours. Uh, it's storm show.